Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here with another video. This time I am going to be making a video on this 1995 Chevy Trucks Tahoe demonstration tape. Now you've seen the video on the S series one and the the Blazer, you know, the S series pickup and then the Blazer. So this is the third Chevy Tahoe. Well, this is actually the third Chevy Trucks tape from 1995 that we'll be playing. So, um, speaking of Tahoe, my mom has a white Tahoe, you know, a white Chevy Tahoe from 2008. And, um, she pretty much got that probably back then, and probably in December. Yeah, so, she's had that for like about almost 11 years now. So, yeah, um, but this tape, this is from 1995, so, but we're just gonna play it and see what it's like. Now, like always, um, I remember the last time when I did this, I mean... I think there's like some noise from here, so I'm pretty much scared to play this, but because I, I I'm not really scared either, but um, I'm just gonna play this tape. All right. Here's, here, by the way, here's side one, and this is side two. So let's put side one in. It starts off with the features. Here we go, everybody. Congratulations on your choice of a new Tahoe, and welcome to the Chevrolet family. Your Tahoe has been designed from the inside out, with your comfort, performance, and safety needs in mind. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss the features and controls that have made Tahoe such an exciting vehicle and an excellent value. For more detailed explanations, please see your owner's manual. Now, let's get started. Superior underbody and underhood rust and corrosion protection and a base coat clear coat paint treatment will help keep your Tahoe looking showroom new. The standard solar ray tinted glass reduces glare and helps keep the interior cool in sunlight. Your engine will provide exceptional performance. Both the gasoline and diesel engines will provide you with confident starting and smooth acceleration in any type of weather. Whether you have a 5-speed manual transmission with overdrive or the electronic 4-speed automatic transmission, you'll enjoy smooth, responsive shifting. Your Tahoe is equipped with an anti-lock braking system, or ABS for short. This system improves your ability to maintain control of your Tahoe under slippery road or severe braking conditions. ABS will not, however, always allow you to stop within the distance available. ABS cannot replace good judgment. The anti-lock brake system includes special diagnostic features. So don't be alarmed if you hear a noise when you start your Tahoe and begin to drive away. It's only the ABS testing itself. With an ABS system, you should not pump the brakes in an emergency situation. Just hold the brake pedal down and let the anti-lock brakes work for you. You will feel the brake pedal vibrate. Also, during an emergency stop, the ABS control unit under the hood will emit a groaning noise and the wheels may make a loud chirping noise. These are all signs that your ABS system has been activated and is working properly. We recommend that when you leave your Tahoe, place the manual transmission in reverse or the automatic transmission in park, then set the parking brake located to the left of the brake pedal. To disengage the parking brake, use the release at the lower left side of the instrument panel. As a special note, Never leave the transfer case in the neutral position when parked, since the vehicle could still roll even though the automatic transmission is in park or the manual transmission is in reverse. Section 4 in your owner's manual offers additional information on parking and leaving your vehicle. I'm pretty sure I already know that. With four-wheel drive, you'll be able to keep your vehicle moving through a wide variety of road conditions. However, you should avoid driving on dry pavement while in four-wheel drive. Driving with four wheels engaged on dry pavement for extended periods of time will increase tire wear, may shorten the life of your vehicle's drivetrain, and reduces fuel economy. You should use too high for most normal driving conditions. With your InstaTrack system, you can shift from two-wheel drive to four-high or from four-high back to two-wheel drive while the vehicle is moving. 
The front axle locks and unlocks automatically when you shift the transfer case. Your front axle will engage faster if you take your foot off the accelerator for a few seconds after you shift. A slight delay for the axle to lock or unlock is normal. The front axle portion of the diagram on the transfer case shift console will light up when you shift into four-wheel drive mode. And remember that it's normal for the front axle light to come on or go off shortly after shifting into or out of a four-wheel drive mode. However, if the front axle light does not come on after shifting into a four-wheel drive mode, or the light stays on after shifting out of a four-wheel drive mode, see your authorized Chevrolet dealer for a system check. Good old four-wheel drive. Or low gives you extra traction, but should be used only for off-road or on extremely slippery surfaces. To shift a vehicle with the InstaTrack system into or out of four low, vehicle speed must be below three miles per hour. To begin this process, place the transmission in neutral with an automatic transmission or depress the clutch with a manual transmission. Then press the transfer case shift button on the shifter lever and shift with one continuous motion. Don't pause in the neutral range of the transfer case when shifting into four low, as this could result in some gear clash. And keep in mind that the neutral position of your InstaTrack system should only be used if the vehicle is being towed. For more information on the transfer case operation, helpful off-road driving tips, and maintenance procedures, see sections two, four, and six of your owner's manual. <coughs> Under the hood, Tahoe is also designed for your convenience. To open the hood, pull the release lever below the left-hand side of the instrument panel, then go to the front of the vehicle and open the hood using the secondary release, just right of center on the driver's side. You will see that routine maintenance is made convenient with well-marked and easily accessible locations under the hood. Items which should be checked regularly include the engine oil, automatic transmission fluid, brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid, air filter, and windshield washer fluid. For more detailed information on checking these fluids and other self-maintenance procedures, read sections 6 and 7 in your owner's manual. Inside, Tahoe has three-point passive front lap and shoulder belts for all outboard passengers and lap belts for center passengers. To help protect your most precious cargo, child security door locks come standard on all four-door models. This feature allows you to lock the rear door so that they can't be opened from the inside. For your convenience, a new single two-sided key opens all doors, rear hatch, and operates the ignition switch. Your Tahoe may be equipped with remote keyless entry. This feature allows you to unlock the doors from a control on your key ring as you approach your vehicle. It eliminates fumbling with your keys in a dark parking lot. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and twice to unlock both doors. A driver's side facial airbag is standard on your Tahoe. The airbag is located in the middle of the steering wheel and will inflate in moderate to severe frontal or near frontal crashes only. It is designed to supplement the protection of a properly adjusted safety belt, which you should wear at all times when traveling in your Tahoe. The airbag is not designed to inflate in rollovers, side impacts, or rear impacts. Upon activation, you may hear a very loud sound as the airbag inflates and deflates. This will all happen in about the time it takes you to blink an eye. The deflated bag will not obstruct your visibility. Tahoe offers a host of standard interior features to make driving comfortable and to reduce fatigue. Extra acoustical insulation in the dash panel, doors, floor, and under the hood contribute to a quiet, relaxing ride. I'm pretty sure we get that. Look around the interior and you'll notice everything from the seats to the instrumentation has been designed with your comfort and convenience in mind. Tahoe's equipped with bucket seats include a center console. The console includes a padded armrest that flips up to access a console compartment. There is also a cup holder in the console that pulls out for the back seat passengers to use. Additional cup holders are located in the package tray on the passenger side of the instrument panel. This non-removable package tray can be cleaned with mild soap and water. Reclining front seats provide maximum comfort and support. To adjust the angle of your seat back, Lift the lever on the outboard side of your seat near the floor, move the seat to the position you want, and release the lever. 
To move your manual bucket or split bench front seat forward or back, pull the lever at the front outboard side of the cushion to the side, move the seat into position, and release the lever. If you have the deluxe power driver seat, the controls are located on the left side of the seat base. A passenger side easy entry feature on two-door models makes getting in and out of the rear of the vehicle easy. Just tilt the seat back all the way forward, then slide the whole seat forward. Then return the seat back to its original position and move the seat rearward until it locks. In addition, a standard passenger side assist handle located on the headliner helps getting in and out of your two-door Tahoe easier. Four-door models have both the rear driver and passenger side assist handle. A full-size spare tire is standard on all Tahoes. On Tahoe two-door models, the tire is mounted on the driver's side rear wall panel. On four-door models, the spare tire is located underneath the rear cargo area load floor. The jacking equipment is neatly stored along the driver's side rear wall panel. Your carpet, floor mats, cloth seats, and cloth door panels have been treated with Scotchgard fabric protector. Scotchgard makes food spills and other messes a lot easier to clean up and helps your interior look new longer. Tahoe's equipped with the optional overhead console package have reading lights in the console that can be turned on and off by pressing in on the button by each light. The lights can also be swiveled to point in the direction you want. There are also two storage compartments which can be used to store small items like your sunglasses and a compartment for your garage door opener. Also included in this package are an electric compass, outside temperature gauge, and overhead light. If you have power windows, the controls are on each of the side doors. There's also a lockout feature on the driver's door to prevent passengers from operating the power windows. The headlights and taillights are operated by the switch knob on the left of the instrument cluster. High and low beams of the headlights are controlled by pulling the turn signal lever toward the steering wheel until it clicks, then releasing it. The wheel next to the light knob controls the intensity of the instrument panel lights when the parking lights or headlights are illuminated. By turning the dial up or down, you can vary the brightness of your backlit instruments. Refer to section 2 in the owner's manual for additional information on lighting features and controls. The turn signal lever also controls the operation of the windshield wipers and washers. The delay wipers allow you to vary the time interval between wiper sweeps for as long as 16 seconds. Once the wipers are on, turning the delay control band away from you controls the amount of wiper delay. The closer the wiper control band is to the low position, the more often the wipers will move. The low and high positions provide continuous wiper action, while pushing the paddle on the turn signal lever engages the windshield washers. For continual washing, you must push and hold the paddle down. When you release the paddle, the washers will stop. For a single wiping cycle, turn the wiper band toward you to mist, then release the band. Tahoe's instrument panel has easy-to-read gauges with soft backlighting, so your eyes won't get tired during long drives. At the center of your instrument cluster are an easy-to-read speedometer and tachometer. Located around the speedometer and tachometer are several smaller gauges and warning lights. The engine temperature gauge lets you monitor engine temperature. If your engine temperature is too high, the gauge pointer will move into the red area. There are also gauges which let you know if there's a problem with your charging system or engine oil pressure. The warning zone on these gauges is also marked in red. Your fuel gauge lets you know the relative amount of fuel in your tank. Remember, the engine must be running for the readings to be accurate. Other warning and reminder lights include a service engine soon light, a seatbelt reminder, a brake light, an anti-lock brake light, and a supplemental restraint system light. Most of these lights come on momentarily when you start your Tahoe to let you know they're working and are not cause for concern. If one comes on and stays on while you're driving, please consult your owner's manual for more information as soon as possible. For your convenience and accessibility, the fuse panel is located on the side of the instrument panel on the driver's side. Fuse locations are illustrated in Section 6. Your climate controls help you maintain a comfortable temperature inside your Tahoe. The round knob on the left sets the fan speed. 
The air from the fan can come through a variety of vent combinations that you choose using the round knobs on the right. The line drawing above each position helps you decide which vent mode to use. The center knob controls the temperature of the air from the vents. Move the knob clockwise into the red and you'll get warmer temperatures. Counterclockwise into the blue delivers cooler air. You can turn on the air conditioning compressor by pressing the AC button between the left and middle knobs. With this button on and the center knob in the blue area, cooled air will come out of the vents in any mode. When you choose to frost or maximum, the air conditioning compressor will come on automatically. This will dehumidify the interior and help defog the windows. The RECIR, recirculate button located between the middle and right knobs, allows the air inside your vehicle to be recirculated. This setting helps to maximize your air conditioner's performance and your vehicle's fuel economy. For more information about your heating and air conditioning controls, see Section 3 in your owner's manual. If you have a rear window defogger, it's controlled by the button next to the fan control knob. The defogger has a built-in timer which turns off the defogger after 10 minutes. If the window isn't clear after 10 minutes, press the button again and the defogger will come on for another 5 minutes. Your glove box contains a leatherette portfolio with your owner's manual and vehicle and tire warranty information. To fully enjoy and preserve the investment in your new Tahoe, please read all of the information supplied in your portfolio. Included in your owner's manual is a maintenance schedule and information about Chevrolet Geo Roadside Assistance, which gives you access to roadside help 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Calling 1-800-CHEV-USA connects you with the Roadside Assistance Center, where highly trained advisors will help solve your problem. If your problem cannot be resolved over the telephone, a roadside advisor can coordinate a variety of quality services through Chevrolet's dealer network and their preferred service providers. Available services include towing, key cutting, and car rental, among others. We would like to remind you that on side two of this tape, you'll find additional information and operational tips about the special options you may have purchased to customize your new Tahoe. It also includes information on the use of child restraint devices. Pretty cool, huh? That was side one of the Chevrolet 1995 Tahoe tape. Um, I know it's going to take time for this video to get uploaded, but Side 2 is going to be next, so I'm very excited for that. So yeah, let's wait for Side 1 to make it to the end. And it's over. Let's take it out. Okay. So yeah, that will be it for Side 1 of this tape. Um, in the next video we'll be doing... Side two. So, um, we'll take care of that later, but, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. This is Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 saying, have a great time, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.